as a homeowner, you probably have thousands of dollars worth of electronics and appliances inside your home. Are these pieces of equipment worth saving in the event of a lightning storm? In my opinion, yes. In this video, I'm going to talk about two different types of surge protection devices and how these two components layered together help reduce equipment failure. I will also provide some installation tips for those of you that are big on do-it-yourself projects. Before I begin, on the top right hand of your screen is a video that I made where I deep dive how electrical surge can negatively affect your electrical equipment. I definitely recommend checking that out. In summary, a surge protection device is a filter that helps reduce excess energy and thus save your new TV or equipment from over voltage. By the way, what is the most expensive electrical equipment inside your home? In the comments below, write down what you have and the cost. For me, it's a Sony OLED TV. A couple years ago, I paid about $2,000. This unit is a complete home surge protection device. It protects everything connected to your electrical panel. It installs inside your electrical panel, and there's only one wire that needs to be connected, and that is the white neutral wire connected to your neutral bus bar inside your panel. This SPD pops in like a standard circuit breaker. There's not much to it. Installation is very straightforward. Even if you're not comfortable working with electrical gear, I can't imagine an electrician charging very much. This takes less than 20 minutes to install. Contact your local electrician for a quote. Drop in the comments below how much you were quoted for this job. An SPD like this one costs anywhere from $90 to $150. In my opinion, this is well worth the cost, considering all the electrical equipment inside your home can be in the thousands of dollars. This particular Eaton model is a dual function device, which means it acts as an SPD and could be utilized as a 50 amp breaker. Once installed, just make sure to flip the switch to the on position. The green lights indicate it is actively protecting your home. Also, this unit is specific to my panel. If, for example, you have a square D electrical panel, this Eaton unit will not fit your panel. Most electrical panel manufacturers have their own device that will fit. On your screen are some common ones with part numbers. You have to confirm that the SPD will fit inside your panel. Here's a tip. Determine what type of breakers you have inside your panel. Open the panel cover and check. At my panel, I have type CH breakers, as you can see. So as a result, the SPD has to be type CH in order for it to fit inside this panel. Here's another installation tip you need to know. There are two types of panels, a bottom fed panel or a top fed panel. At your panel, do the incoming wires come in from the top or from the bottom? The SPD needs to be installed adjacent to those incoming wires. In green, I identified the correct location for installation. The SPD can be installed on the left or on the right. It doesn't matter. The reason for this, in the event of an overvoltage, the SPD has to be adjacent to the utility wires to filter out this excess energy and shunt it immediately to ground. If the SPD is installed on the opposite side of the utility wires, then it will not do its job effectively, exposing all your circuits to overvoltage. Also, if you have two electrical panels at your house, I definitely recommend installing one at each panel. This gives you extra protection and lowers the risk of equipment failure. I do practice what I recommend. I have an SPD at each of my panels. If you found this information helpful so far, consider sharing it with friends and family. This is a receptacle SPD combo unit. It protects whatever you have connected to this receptacle. It looks very identical to a standard receptacle with the exception of this LED status indicator. When the light is on, it means the SPD is working. These units come in all kinds of colors. These units install exactly like a standard receptacle. If you're not comfortable with minor electrical work, an electrician shouldn't be too expensive to change a receptacle. These units cost anywhere from $20 to $50. On your screen are locations where I have them installed around the house. There are two important tips I do want to point out. The first one, be aware that there are 15 and 20 amp receptacles. There is a difference. Make sure you match the existing receptacle size. The second tip is, these receptacles will only save your equipment one time. Once the SPD does its job, the LED will no longer turn on and you will need to replace the receptacle. Let's assume your AC unit failed and release a sudden surge of energy within your home, represented by this red line. If you have one layer of protection, it can bring down the voltage level to here, represented by this orange line. Notice how the level is reduced, but not eliminated. If you have two layers of protection, the voltage level can be reduced even further, represented by this green line. 
Ultimately, the bottom line, SPDs help reduce equipment failure inside your home by reducing unwanted electrical surge.